Hello buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. Last episode we continued a little bit more with our entire uh, tickle, uh, Tickleton, I think it's called, uh, shenanigans, and today we're going to go and continue. By exploring the next thing. I presume that you're going to do the quest. Used to be a run of the middle country bumpkin, but then I received a special blessing in a church at the bottom of the mountain, and now I'm transformed. I suppose you want to advise, do you? Well, first things first, the ha that hairstyle's got to go. It's uh, it's about a century out of date. He's not the person I need to talk to. Let's see. I guess maybe the old man. These youngsters really do grow up quickly, don't they? I mean, look at that stylish young uh, young man. Last time I saw him, he was still just a snotty nose brat. He's got me thinking about my own clothes. I must confess, maybe we should increase the fashion show in this year's festival. Um... Tanya's not happy that her brother went to the market uh, and came back looking so uh, so smart and elegant. Poor thing's probably worried that now he's got a taste of the big city, he'll be running off and leaving her behind. But he'd never do that. Oh, hello. Hello there. Just passing through, are you? Well, before you go, I wonder if you might be able to help me. It's my brother, you see. He went to the market down the mountain to fetch the spirit crown for the village festival. And ever since he's come back, it's like he's a different person, so fashionable. Suppose you'd call it. He's never uh, shown any interest in that stuff before. Most of the people in the village think it's great that he's suddenly so stylish, but I think there's something fishy going on. Truth be told, I just don't think that man is my brother, and I intend to expose him as the impostor he is. I can't do it alone, though. I mean, what if whoever is really, uh, uh, whoever it really is gets all offensive and turns on me? I need your help. Can you lend me a hand with the unmasking? Sure. You will? Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. I knew you were a helpful sort, just like my brother. My real brother, that is. Now, I think the best way to get the truth is to make a few discreet inquiries. If you ask around at Paddy, Paddy's party planning place, that's the begin, someone's bound to know something. It won't take you long to unearth a few clues, I'm sure of it. And then we can uh, we can find out why this creep's pretending to be my brother. Try asking around at uh, Paddy party's planning place in Questor's Rest. Okay. Don't you love having to run to Quester's Rest every single freaking time? <laughs> Let's see, hello? Hello? Take part in your work. Oh, Patty, there we go. Yes. She's got a major back. You're the best, thanks. Alright, oh, I need to go and talk to her from across the country, probably. Hello. Smile, it's me. Take it from me when Aram is down. Let's get a mojo back. Really? Sick of might? Oh, okay. That's somewhat out of the blue, friend, but as it so happens, I know of just, uh, of just such a thing. Bodura grass. A major acquaintance of mine tells me you found some on his travels only recently. If you're interested in learning more, find the grotto known as the Ruby Path of Doom and make your way to the third level. I spoke of going there when I last I saw him. Third level of the Ruby Path of Doom. Where is that place again? Um, uh, <laughs> once again, in the same thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind at the end of this game. So the third floor of this place. Well, I think I'll just go and... What? Create the shares map in the whole world. Create maps in the future and have fun this it. You know what? I'm just not in the mood for fighting anymore. At least not in not in this place. If I can avoid it, I'm gonna try to avoid it. Because it's very annoying to do. And it's also not worth it in this place. Let us continue doing holy protection then. And let's go make it to the third floor. However the hell I get there. Because <laughs> I sure as hell don't remember. Is it the second floor? At least I think so. 
And then this has to be the third floor. So the mage should be around here. Either around here or one floor down. There she is. Greetings, Tavler. What's that? You want to know if I've got anything that will reveal two persons' uh, person's true identity? Hmm, let me think. Ah, I know. Some, uh, some Badura grass should do the trick. And as it so happens, I have some right here. It's yours if you want it. I doubt I'll have any use for it myself. Hey, It's free real estate. Nice. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. Can I just show this? Uh, no, I have to give it to her. There you are. Well, did you find anything to help us unmask that imposter? Oh, this is wonderful news. Now we'll be able to find out who is pretending to be uh, who is pretending to be my brother. You better go and use it straight away. We can't let that, uh, let that con man pull the wool over people's eyes one minute longer. Yes. So it's like all over the person pretending to be Tanya's brother. Hey, what are you? Ah! <laughs> I see. Yeah, well, what have you done to me? I, I, I'm so ugly! My master goes to trouble of turning me into a suave young man, and then you come along and ruin everything! You're going to pay for this! Must seems to be very angry. Engage in a model? Sure. What I wanted was to look nice so that Tanya, uh, so that Tanya would, would be kind to me. And now you've gone and ruined everything! Well, you've paid enough more than you can chew, mister. You're going to regret sticking your oar in. The dud dude. <laughs> Jesus. Right, so let us... Pup, 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 pup. Revamp, and a kabuff, and a sap. Oh, whoops. I should probably go in there. Isn't effective. It does some damage to all of us, and more damage. Okay, all right. Let me go and put this back over to manual. Manual. Sword dance, we can go and do a uh, multi feat. You can go and kabuff again, and you can once again try to sap the dude. <laughs> the literal dude. Hey, nice. It worked. Because sap doesn't actually seem to know it. Kabuff. Alright. Sword Dance, multi feet Hendrik, you can do a Parallax. Rap, you can go and do a multi heal. <laughs> Quite surprised this thing still lives. It's paralyzed, wow. That's amazing. Alright, Sword Dance, multi feet Parallaxes. And you can go and do, I think, just Pearly Gates. Still paralyzed, and now we can move freely again. This dude is really freaking beefy. Let's go and try hitting with something more powerful. Like Princess Kick Rackle. And there we go. Nice it. 20,000 XP. And Eric levels up. And Savannah levels up. Let's see. Eric and Silvando. Okay, so. 14 skill points. That's not enough for this, right? Yeah, this is 16. Um. And this is 14 over here. I was thinking about getting these things up here, though. Sure. Oh, whoops. I need 16. I have 14. Okay. <laughs> I can't really do much in with you at the moment. Sylvan, though. 25 freaking points. Let's go and get yourself the pep up power up. And then we'll go for... Uh... Well, I guess I could just get any of these, really. There we go. Right. Yeah, all I wanted was to look so nice that Tani would be kind to me. Is that really so bad? 
I promise I won't pull any stunts like this again. Can you give, forgive me, please? Sure. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pretty are a kind-hearted person, just like Tanya. Anyway, I think I've caused enough trouble in this village for one day. I better head back home. So thank you again for being so kind to me. Thank you ever so much. Now that you go and find the Badura grass, you also took care of the monsters pretending to be my brother. Can't believe that thing thought it would, be, it would make me be nice to it by dressing up and prancing around like an idiot. Monsters don't know anything, do they? My big brother is uh, pretty cool already. He doesn't need some silly, uh, silly clothes to prove it. Anyway, thanks again for stepping in to save the day. I'd like you to take this as a token of my appreciation. Speaking of my brother, though, I'm starting to wonder where he's got to. He should have been back by now. Well, he'll be here soon enough, I'm sure. I better get on with the festival preparations while I, while I wait. See you again soon, I hope. Ah, <sighs> another quest done. <laughs> the sigh of relief. After clearing a quest. And that finishes yet another book. Alright. Now we go over to Trodane Castle. Can be heard though it's unclear where it's coming from. Call me Ishimari. I come from the land of Moonshadow. I sense that destiny has guided you to me. That you might hear my tale, I have a problem, you see. A number of visitors to my world are trapped there, unable to return to their own. This world and the world I call home uh, are connected by the moon shadow window, a portal that opens only in the light of the moon. But some wicked soul is preventing the night from falling. The sun has been high in the sky for as long as I can remember. Please, will you aid me in bringing this unending day to a close? Uh, yes. Thank you, child of man. I have discerned that whatever foul force is preventing the night from falling has hidden himself away somewhere within Throden Castle. Know that the spirits of the moon shall protect you. I wish you luck. Okay, now before we do this, I do think I want to go and rest up in the uh, in Tickington for a moment because I did use a sizable amount of my MP, I think. Right? Uh, well, it doesn't matter, man. <laughs> I try to be prepared, especially when they want me to fight things. And then I'll have to do some research on how to get the final couple of things. Mainly the... Uh, mainly this one over here. How to, how to get that item. That's what I'm wondering. I might be able to get it over here though, so I don't know. That's why I'm not doing research right now. Because it also might be that I need to fight the final boss to get that item, so... Let us check out this place. Oh boy, this is going to be a pretty huge place, probably. With some enemies, as per usual. Take a slash. Um, you can do... Well... I guess Pink Tornado, sure. You can just go and attack. Wrap it to the pretty gates. Pink Tornado does a lot of damage. <laughs> At least against certain enemies. So that was 2000 XP for that. Not sure if that was worth it then. That's what I'm kind of figuring out. If it's worth doing this stuff right now. Because... Some battles might just not be worth it when it comes to XP. Hmm. It's decent, it's not bad, but... A piece of something, I didn't save. <laughs> Magic beast, right? Alright, kick a slash. Pink tornado again. Attack, and parry against. Pretty Betsy, and a seed of thirst pieces. You know what? I do think I'm just gonna go run around with holy protection. I'm not in the mood for dealing with encounters in the 2D version. It is a little bit too annoying for me, personally. 
Dresser doesn't appear to have anything of interest. Nothing with that statue over there. There's some books over here. Or there's some bookshelves. But there doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Alright, let us ascend. Uh, <laughs> wow. Nothing. 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 It's a whole lot of nothing. 29 gold coins from that one. There's a piano over there. All the protection has run out again. Oh boy. I might actually be going the correct direction, or just the totally wrong one. How about that? Oh no, wait, there's another way to go this way. Oh boy. 20 gold coins. I cannot go this way. This place is cool though, I like the way it looks. No gold. Nothing down there. Pretty Betsy. 150 gold. And that's it. <laughs> the door is shut tight. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, so there's nothing down here. At least not yet. So let us go back upwards. Hey, my only protection is right out. Alright, there's a piano over here. Which I can't really do anything with. <laughs> hey Carter. God damn it. How many of those will I find in my adventure? <laughs> Probably too many. Hello. <laughs> Where do you appear from? How dare you start on the mighty dale like that? Well, as long as it's daylight in this, uh, this world is mine. My master taught me the most marvelous spell for turning night into day, and I intend to keep using it. As soon as evening comes, I cast TikTok, and it's brought daytime again, daylight again. And as long as I can keep doing that, I'll be the ruler of all I survey. Now, I think it's high time the truth dawned on you. You are no match for the mighty Dale. Nighty night. Dale draws near. We on pep up. You can go revamp again. You can cast. Hmm. Magic barrier. Sure. Because I feel like this thing is gonna do magic against me. I don't know why, but I get this little feeling. Fizzle. Okay, that's nice. And cast a crack. I was gonna cast sap. Nice. Magic barrier. Let us begin with the sword dancing, and not the femme fatale, and the uh, multi feet, and then you can go and do another magic barrier, and you can do a uh, party gates. Kefra is critical spell. <laughs> you little bitch. Okay, Hendrik, let's go and do Parallax, because it's a really good move. And then I guess you can do a uh, multi heal. Could have got it, nice. <laughs> Welp. That was easy. <laughs> Level 81. As I get even more skill points. And now with 13. Um, need 16 for Big Banger. 
And the other things I don't really think... You know, I think I'd rather get Big Bang at first. Or maybe not. Well, it doesn't matter, man. I do think I want to get that one first. Though. <laughs> God, how the world was mine, and, and now the sun sets on my mighty empire. Maybe now I can finally get some rest. The serious voice can be heard, though it's unclear where it's coming from. Thank you, human. You have brought night back to this world at last. Finally, the castle library will be bathed in the light of the moon, and the moonshadow window shall appear once more. Those who are trapped in my world can finally return to their home, a place where they have much to do. And all is thanks to you. And I get a sham share of light. For now, your work here is done. But one day, I fear that the fiend who sent his minion here will make himself known to you. Take care of yourselves, and know that the moon shall always watch over you. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. So now I'm kind of wondering something. Well, I'm wondering two things. I have to go and take a look at my quest log in a moment. And there we go. <laughs> Half of the books are back to normal. I won't be able to get it. Okay. I think I'm going to leave and I'm going to go and check out my quest log and then I'll uh, do some research regarding what I can do right now. If there's anything I can still do. Because there's still one th thing that I'm missing. There's one password. That I'm missing. Or just like something which is gonna allow me to get that final thing. And I'm also missing the other thing. But the chances are pretty dang high them gift to save the world to get that one. Right. We're gonna save normally for a moment. It feels so weird to be back in the normal game after you've spent some time in the 2D world. Everything looks a lot better. Surprise, surprise. Hey, we hit the 100 hour mark. Let's see. So this is Curse Got Your Tongue. Ba -da -ba -ba. 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 Let's see. Ah, I see. Yes. I do need to fight the final boss for this. For this one at least. Okay. That's good to know. I suppose. And then we have the final one. Or the almost final one. Scroll down the list. This is weird. I should have this password. But I think I might have missed him in uh, Gondolia. There's a Tuckle in Gondolia. And then for the other one, I need to go and, you know, defeat Kalasmos. <laughs> Just casually defeat Kalasmos. So I will have to fight the final boss before I do some other things, but it's fine. All right. Uh, this way, yep. So there's a treasure chest over here. And there is... Um, oh, pff, wow. <laughs> He's difficult to see. I find him quite difficult to see. He's on this freaking bench. That was the last one. Cool. Let us go back over to uh, Takington then. Then we'll finish up this final quest of Takington and then we're gonna go and uh, make our way over to Kalasmos. Methinks. Because then I think we've done everything. Well, you know, except for final Angular thing and more fighting in uh, the Luminaire's Tribe. 
or like in the the Twilight shenanigans in general. Have I healed? That's fine though. All right, ten ton. <laughs> ten ton. Hold on. Perfect. I wandered away from Tendra uh, and the others, uh, and found myself back here. You see, now I'm reading, uh, reading, from, reading from shock. But wait, who are you? Hmm? You say you're from uh, from the one whose coming was foretold by Tenda. Well, whoever you are, we need your help. Start by making sure you have spoken to everyone here. Come on, hurry. We lived in peaceful seclusion for so long, our village was protected by the blessings of the Shelt One, and hidden from monsters by Tenda, uh, Tenda's sorcery. But that peace was not destined to last. Tenda foresaw that one day monsters would come, and that the Shelt One would be taken from us. When I heard this, I was naturally thrown into a terrible panic. But Tenda remained calm, and, the, uh, and led the villagers to safety before the monster came. Monsters, sorry. She's young, but she's far wiser than me. Now, that the, now the important thing is to restore the Shelt One to his rightful place. Before everyone returns to the village. Oh, how I pray that he comes to uh, uh, that he comes home to us unharmed. So you have come. You are Fred, are you not? And you have come to restore the shelter when I bid you welcome. Do not be surprised. Tenda foresaw it all. She predicted that the troubles roiling another world would bring monsters, and uh, that and they would uh, carry off the Gal Galapagod, and that would be our savior. Allow me to explain. The Galapagod is a giant tortoise that watches over our village. He sends his thoughts to Tenda, blessed as she is, uh, with ac uh, with acute psychic powers. And she uses his instructions to guide us. The thought of monsters manhandling the shelled one pained me terribly, but Tenda told me that uh, that I should not resist and should instead wait for the coming of the one called Fred. Your destiny is to restore the Galapagod to his rightful place, as uh, as has been foretold. Will you travel between worlds, defeat the monsters in the castle of the Necrogons, and return our sacred guide to us? Uh, sure. Oh, what a relief! I was not worried. Of course, I knew you would agree. The shelled one is never wrong, after all. Now, while I cannot join you on your quest, I will aid you in whatever way I can. Firstly, please take this. The Zoom Stone. With this stone, you'll always be able, will always be able to return to Tendon, even all the way from another world. When you find the Shelled One, use the Zoom Stone, and both of you will be whisked back here in a flash. I know you can do it, for it is your destiny. Destiny. Uh, head for the Necrogaunt and teach the Great Tortoises Tormentor's Fashion. The Necrogaunt. Um. The Necrogon, I think, yeah, I'll just have to see. I don't remember where it is, so. It's definitely one of the books that I remember the name, but. I don't know which book. I'm gonna get all the pots while I'm here. Wow, all of these pots actually had items in them. That's intriguing. Alright, the Necrogon. Where is that? Uh. <laughs> Interesting. I don't remember where the Necrogon is. I'll be back in a moment once I've figured out where this is. Well, whatever. I'm just going to look at it right now while I'm here. So it's one of the final quests. Let's see. Ah, Baramos' castle, okay. The normal Baramos' castle, by the way. And where do I need to go for that? The top left or something? And head to the top left part, yep. So the top left part of the castle. And there should be a person that was not earlier there. The top left of the castle. Oh boy. I'm kind of wondering if I can find them. They're somewhere in here in any case. So. Just to do it 
uh, talking about how we did good things. <laughs> this will bring me over to the other thing, right? Uh, well, it can bring me over to different places. Um... You're not the person I need, right? No. They're all just talking about the undead people. Oh, thank you, friend. Oh. <laughs> so it's like, oh, did I find him? But no, I didn't. Ah, there he is. Okay. We have found our query. Our multi heal. Hello. Apparently you can write this thing. I bet he can hear he can take us to some amazing places if he is uh, if he's in the mood. Um, hello. It's red of torches, chances are this is the thing. Scary and discomfort, but it's remaining stoical. He who he Come on, you silly turtle, don't fight it. Give in. Go on, use your far out powers and take us somewhere nice. Verily and yea, the great turtle nothing tree can uh, excite in equal measure. Lo, the power uh, that emanateth emanateth from him is un uh, is like th unto that of the heavens. Zouds, who art thou? Wherefore uh, are, th hast thou adventured? Intendest thou to, <laughs> to trespass against us and return a turtle to Tenton? Uh, er is its erstwhile home? Yes. Verily, thou art dogged indeed to have pursued a creature so far. Thy devotion would be un admi uh, admirable. We're directed towards a more righteous end. Alas, thou art plainly misguided in thy faith and must needs to be ex uh, excommunicated like that he's in debt thou art. <laughs> Jesus. Group of enemies. Rector. He do voodoo and a leg of the man. I guess I might as well just get really powered up. Just in case. Just going to buff. Um, and you can just go in there for the gets. Right, so he cast buff on himself. Completely mesmerized by Jade. That is absolutely amazing. Cast bounce. I guess it's not get bounced, right? Yeah, no, it's an ability. Alright. Let's go and hit him with Le Giga Slash. You can hit him with the Femme Fatale. Hendrik, you can... You can just go and do... Uh, where is it? Blind Man's Biff. And Rap, you can do another Pretty Gates. Rab is confused. Uh, Rab is gonna... Okay, he, be he became... What in the hell is happening? <laughs> okay. Let's go and Giga Slash again. Femme Fatale again. Let's go and Kabuff again, just in case. And multi-heal. Cast more heal. Hey, one of them split the safe. Kick a slash. Hey, Rector's dead. Multi heal. Fizzle, uh, Jace prevented from casting spells. Henrik also. And Rap also. <laughs> wow. Let's just keep hitting it with uh, the big ol' attacks. Uh, you can go into our Blind Man's Biff. And Predigates. Yep, there we go. And down they go. Victory. Hendrik goes to level 80. And Veronica to level 79. And Serna levels to level 74. Alright, Hendrik. Uh, what do I want you to get right now? Miracle Slash, Gar Falcon Slash, uh, Scrap Metal, uh, we have Hurt Converter, which sounds like a very interesting one. Frost Fangs, which is just great sort of stuff around here. Back Atcha. Hmm. And Desperate Measures, okay, I'll have to wait for a bit then. Veronica. Let's go and get this one. And then we have this one, Worm Whip. Nah, not particularly amazing. We have Lashings of Love. 
And Twin Dragon Slash. Or Lash, sorry. Serenica. You don't have enough. Okay. Yeah, wait for it. We did fatally kidnap the turtle. The loss of the creature a, a creature's aid would surely have starved that hateful hero of help, and all that would have been heavenly. Uh. Looking, uh, looking this way, his benign expression seems to be communicating his uh, gratitude. And we use the zoom stone. And so it has come to pass, just as it was foretold. You have our undying gratitude, and that is not all. Our leader Tenda wanted you to have this. And a ball of pep up. Before this misfortune befell us, the Sheltered One had not left our village for a thousand years or more. Every second without him was pure agony. Though I believed uh, that he would be returned to us, I was beset by worry. It is good that the other villagers uh, were spared of all of this. We are fortunate to have a leader as wise as Tenda. It, uh, it was she uh, who led the people to the, uh, of the village to safety. In truth, I do not know why all of this has happened, but there is one thing I am sure of. Tenda is wise and noble, and will do all. I, uh, uh, and I will do all... I can't deserve an assister. We all have our role in life, and that is mine. There we go. That is all of Tickington done. Well, at least. Until I defeat Clasmos, in any case. There we go. There is only one more thing left to be done. At least when it comes to these things. In general, there's still more things to be done, but... Let's do one thing at a time, shall we? <laughs> or try to. <laughs> Let's try to make sense out of everything I'm doing. Right. So, my friends, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Hope. I was playing Dragon Quest Eleven Echoes of an Elusive Age. And next episode, we're gonna go and... We're gonna go to Kalasmos and see how that is gonna go. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends.